counting down the final hours of being in Budapest. Um, so I'm back at the Fisherman, Fisherman's Bastion. Um, I got up here on Sunday night just to go to this, uh, the, this Matthias church because they had a free concert. That's kind of interesting. I wouldn't say cool, but interesting. And uh, well, as I walked around, it was dark and made a pretty cool night photos and stuff. I don't know if I, I'll do anything with those, but I had to check out my hostel this morning and uh, find something to do. So been over budget a little bit. So what do I choose to do? Free stuff, right? I wanted to see all this in the daylight. And so here I am back up here, I guess. But I would say that it definitely has a different vibe during the day versus the night. At night, there's more of a, uh, it's more lonely, I guess you could say up here. There's definitely plenty of people. I do know that when I came up here last time, there was uh, one violinist playing all by himself. And I just kind of just chilled and watched him. But now it's definitely, definitely busy now. But I think I might get a few photos and go on to something else. Maybe like the parliament building or I don't know. But it's really cool architecture. It's definitely worth coming and seeing in the dark and in the light. But uh, yeah, rocking the shorts today. It's like uh, below freezing again, but I uh, thought I could tough it out because I didn't want to do laundry again. So I'd rather have extra clothes to wear when I get to Romania than have to carry around dirty clothes and do laundry again there or not have enough to do laundry. So I went ahead and chose to just kind of tough it out, but uh, regretting it a little bit, but not too much. Though everybody keeps asking me like, why aren't you wearing pants? And all I can think of is Viking heritage, I'm a badass. But uh, no, I can definitely feel it. I definitely feel like an idiot sometimes. And right now is one of those moments. But live and learn, or in my case, just live. Don't learn. You'll do this again, probably next week. I would say the coldest part is actually the toes and the ears. Everything else is just eh. I'm gonna try actually to get up that top row. Problems. I would never thought that you could be causing these problems. It smells so bright with eyes like these diamonds. Caution. I know I should have known. Right now you're not alone. castle is it's more really a palace and it's now the national hungarian museum uh, one of the things i spoke to a lot of people in my hostel about they were they were concerned about not being able to go into the parliament building like they would go to the parliament building and they learn the hard way that you actually can't get in because they're doing your research well you can get into the parliament building but you have to pay like 25 us dollars for a tour just to see some crown jewels and they walk around a little bit and a lot of people are going to the outside just to get photos but i don't know why anybody would ever do that it's i mean yeah it's a pretty building but the pest side is not as nice or worth it as the buddhist side is because of the castle hill but if you come over to the buddhist side there's loads and loads and loads of peaks and to views that you could get at the parliament building without ever having to go over there. So I just can't be bothered. But, you know, you got the, the palace behind me that's now the Hungarian castle. You've got peaks over there. You've got the Fisherman Bastion that's over there. And all of this is just free to walk around on the outside. 25 US dollars to get on the inside. Got to take a bus or a train to get over there. Can't justify it. But, you know, if you look around, there's plenty of views. <laughs> that side is definitely flat and this side definitely has all the architecture or all the uh all the uh the peaks and the, and the cool stuff i'd say this much though over there it seems a lot more ran down i would say buddha or 
everybody says Buddhist side's better, but Budapest is the party side. I think that's where they got all the ruined bars. But I know there was like a war in the 90s and they're doing a lot of rebuilding right now. If I, you look over the horizon, there's probably 30 cranes easily. But one thing to note is that when you're walking down these side streets, it's nothing but graffiti, nothing but pubs and bars, mostly bars. And a lot of stuff is chipped away and worn away. And uh, I would argue, people are gonna hate you for this. It's, 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 this is a, something that's probably, you know, I'm gonna get a lot of hate for. But Budapest is overrated. It's like George Strait being the king of country. Yeah, he's good. It's like Chick-fil-A being the best food out there. Yeah, that's great. Bless by God. But people hype it up too much. And I would argue that it's overrated. It's cool, but overrated. But yeah, this is this is the Buddha. That's the pest. Come here if you want. A lot of UK people.